Hi guys, and thank you for tuning in to Yonkers Newsbreakers, where we're paving the way on how road news is supposed to be broadcasted. The reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people has been asking me on what I cover and what I don't cover. Let's start with the stuff that I don't cover. I don't go to shootings, as in people getting shot. I don't go to stabbings, as in people getting stabbed. I don't go to any type of medical emergency. And I don't respond to fires. The reason that I don't go to these things is due to my integrity. Because I can't see a fellow human being losing their last breath and then their families find out over the internet that their loved one has been deceased. That's something I simply can't do. I know people may say this is type crazy, but this is how I operate, to show families the respect that they deserve. Because there's no family deserves more respect than the ones that lost their loved ones. The families are not supposed to find out over social media or, or on the internet that the loved one has just been killed or burnt alive or had a heart attack. They shouldn't find out over the internet. The proper way on how things are supposed to be run, the family is actually supposed to find out is either through the police department or the medical professionals. Because I know for a fact, 10 out of 10 times when something happens to a loved one, the medical professional or the police department calls next of kin. So if there's something that happens super drastic, I wouldn't film that. But what I would do is get a press release once the press is allowed. And I would make an article about the incident and offer condolences. Now what I do cover is political events I do interview political candidates. I do film special events, parties, weddings. I just began doing a music video scene. Stay tuned. I'm also starting to do a documentary. And this documentary is about to be titled Wrongfully Convicted. And this is how the I expose the corrupted justice system. There's a lot of people that have been wrongfully convicted that I know personally, seen the papers, and they have obtained lawyers. I also am filming bad businesses, businesses that offer services and they don't comply with it, they don't go forward with it, the customer loses money. As long as I see a written contract, yes, I am going to come after you, expose the hell out of you, because that's something you don't do. I also expose bad landlords. I also expose the government. There's a lot of things that people don't notice that happens behind closed doors when someone is rented from a landlord. Because there's a lot of landlords that pay the, the city, the building inspectors, they pay a lot of money just so they won't fix anything in the building. That's how they get the name Slumlord. There's a few landlords who are slumlords that paid certain building inspectors, which I will not name, that has been arrested and fired. So with that said, if this is the type of group that you're willing to participate in, please, by all means, stay in the group, add all your friends, add all your family members. As we grow in this membership of this group, we will become better. I also would like to let everybody know, 
to subscribe to the YouTube because a lot of times I do not go live on Facebook. A lot of times it goes directly to YouTube and I, I, then I put the link on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, 